Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about the prompt displayed by Google Chrome when we are using a password that might have been involved in a security breach. Chrome provides a prompt indicating that your password needs to be changed. If your password does not follow Google security guidelines or has been involved in a data breach, then Chrome will display a pop-up asking you to change your password. This prompt can cause problems for test automation. Sometimes we need to click on objects that are located behind this pop-up. To demonstrate this, let me first log in with my credentials. You can see that it throws a pop-up asking you to change your password. Let's say the object you want to click on is located behind this pop-up. Because of this, the automation script fails. It's not able to click on elements that are behind the pop-up. Now, to solve this problem, let's look into it further. We have encountered a similar issue earlier when logging into the system. At that time, Chrome was showing a prompt to save the username and password for future reference. That prompt also caused similar issues. Now with the new Chrome update, we have started receiving the change your password pop-up when logging into the application using the password that have been found in data breach. If you're using any password that has been compromised, you'll see this dialog. We cannot interact with this pop-up using automation because it is not part of our application UI. Therefore, we need to disable this warning when running our test automation. For example, if I click on OK, you'll see the save password pop-up. This is the one which I was talking about. I have covered this in a previous video explaining how to handle and disable this pop-up when a user logs into the application. We added a capability in our automation script to disable the save password confirmation dialog. By adding this capability to your script, you can prevent these pop-ups from appearing during automation executions. Now, if I go back to my script, you can see the following code. This is the script I used in our last video. In this script, I'm logging into my Jenkins URL, which is hosted on my local machine. And then, I'm entering the username and password and clicking on the submit button. If I run this script now, then you're going to see that Chrome displays a warning about the change password. This is the capability we added earlier to disable the save password prompt. It uses the credentials enable service preference, which we set to false to stop Chrome from showing the password manager prompt. So now, if I run my test, you will see that the save password dialog doesn't appear. However, we'll still see the change your password dialog because we have not added any other preference besides credential enable service. So yes, the save password dialog won't appear, but the change password dialog will still pop up when the test executes. Let's wait for the test to run so we can observe how it impacts our test execution. You can see the test has started executing, the browser has launched, and it navigates to the Jenkins URL. It enters the username and password. Here, we are getting the pop-up that I was talking about. The moment we log into the Jenkins account, this pop-up appears. If we have any elements behind this pop-up, then the automation script fails. This is the issue I was referring to now let's see how we can resolve this pop-up issue so that when we log into the application, the dialog does not appear. To resolve this, I'm going to add one more profile preference. So the preference which I'm going to add is profile dot 
password manager leak detection. And then I'll set the value of this preference as false. This preference disables the pop-up warning about password leaks. And this, with, and combined with the previous preference, that is credentials enable service, this setting prevents Chrome from prompting to save password or warn about compromised ones. By using these two preferences, both issues will be resolved. Now let's see if it works. So I'm going to run my test again. You can see the test execution has started. This time, when it logs into the Jenkins, then you can see we don't receive any pop-up or change your password dialog because we have used a profile preference in Chrome options. We have set the preference profile.passwordmanager leak detection to false, which disables the password manager's leak detection. As a result, Chrome does not show that warning anymore. This time, you did not see any password manager pop-up. By using these two profile preferences, we can handle all the password-related pop-ups that come from the Chrome browser. I hope you liked this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.